세레야 카트나초 카이초 아주리 팬을 위한 국내 유일 유튜브 시리즈 조선의 세레 팬입니다. 어, 저희 세레팬이 드디어 세레 출신 선수를 직접 인터뷰했습니다. 이탈리아로 갔냐? 아니죠. 마침 K리그에 세레야 출신 선수가 왔습니다. 그럼 그 선수가 뭐 빅클럽인 전북, 울산, 서울에 왔느냐? 그것도 아니죠. K리그 2, 2부 안양에 왔습니다. 의외죠. 바로 아코스티 선수인데요. 아나태생, 표렌시나 유스 출신. 3년 전까지 세리에아에서 핵심 조커로 뛰면서 AS 로마 같은 강팀 상대로 선발 출장도 해본 어엿한 세리아 리거가 우리 캐리그에 왔습니다. 이 선수를 안양이 영입한 것 자체가 상당히 의외인 상황입니다. 어, 원래 캐리그 1 강팀도 노릴만한 선수였는데 개인 사정으로 한국행이 저절될 뻔했다가 안양 측에서 굉장히 인간적이고 진솔한 영입 태도를 보여주면서 영입에 성공했다고 합니다. 훈련에서 현재까지 보여준 모습으로는 역시 세리아 출신이다 라는 말이 절로 나온다고 하니까 아주 기대가 되네요. 이 선수를 직접 만나고 왔습니다. 어, 방역에 신경 쓰면서 거리 두기를 한채 인터뷰를 진행했고요. 세리아 선수가 직접 이야기하는 세리아 썰 이를테면 뭐 다니 아우베스, 모하메드 살라를 직접 상대한 이야기를 이 선수가 들려줍니다. 그 흥미진진한 이야기 속으로 지금 안내하겠습니다. I have some friends there. I spoke to some some friends there. My agent is from Emilia Romagna. Ah, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they can't do nothing. You know, you just have to stay home. If uh, you know one member of the family can go out once mm -hmm. a week, mm -hmm. just to go to the grocery to buy food stuffs and just this, you know. And but you need to have like a paper document that uh, that says that you have to go out to buy food, mm -hmm. and you can stay just for 20 minutes maximum, mm -hmm. and you have to go. 200 meters from your house, not more than 200 meters. So it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Now it's, it's, it's really crazy. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. All of us need to pray for Italy because right now it's, the, what they need is uh, a lot of prayers. You know, especially from those who believe in 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 God. You know, we we just have to continue praying for them uh, because they really need it right now. Mm. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, I. I never played football in Ghana, you know. Really? Uh, yes. The only time you can see me playing was maybe with my friends on the street, you know. Uh -huh. But even that, my parents didn't want because, you know, uh, my dad was playing football, uh -huh. but he didn't get nothing from football, you know. Uh -huh. So, uh, and I come from a very poor village, very small village with, I don't know, maybe, maybe thousand people. It's really small village, and so football was like. It was no job, you know. Football in that time was like for um, for bad guys, you know. Those mm -hmm. who play football don't go to school, so it's for the bad guys, you know. So uh, I never played football till 16 years, and you know I was scouted because uh, I went to the capital, which is Accra, mm -hmm. to visit my auntie, mm -hmm. my my father's sister, mm -hmm. for the weekend, you know. And um, just behind the house of my auntie, they were playing football, so I was just. Standing there watching the game, and then one guy had to go because the mom called the guy, and so they were shot 10 against 11. And they just one guy just told me, Hey, you want to play? So that we 11 against 11. And I said, Okay, I play, you know. And I played barefooted, and uh, you know, it's on the roadside. So, so luckily for me, one scout just saw me playing there with the just guys on the streets, and then he, he proposed to take me to Italy for a trial. Just one game, just one game, really. Yeah, just one game playing without shoes, not nothing. So, till so 16 years, I never played football. I started playing football when I was 16 years, when I went to Italy. For the first time, yes, really? yes, yes. Everything was new to me, you know. I was used to playing on the streets without shoes, uh, without no rules, you know how it is, you know. Uh, so, you know, learning, I had to learn everything from the basics, like what my son is learning now, you know, at six years, seven years. I had to learn everything, but there was no time for me to learn all this, you know? <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you get this from? Yeah, that's my club. In the Serie A, it's a little bit different from the Serie B, for example, mm -hmm. because, you know, I played both Serie A and Serie B. Uh, in Serie A, you have a lot of big players. So maybe in the locker room, there's no much of a joke mm. than in Serie B, per se, you know. Uh, in Serie A, I, like in Fiorentina, like the locker room, you know, you have the big players, you know. You, I had the chance to play with a lot of big of, big of this place, you know, like 
ma è stato sempre Fogmutu, Gilardino, eh, Vargas, eh, Colo Tordem Quadrado, Gual Cavalero. E you know, they are all serious guys, you know. Okay. Yeah, apart from this uh, like meeting in the dressing room, I always I I also went out with uh, like Jovetic, mm -hmm. like Ljajic, mm -hmm. uh, Marchioni, mm -hmm. uh, Oliveira. Oliveira. Yeah, he okay. played for Juve. Uh -huh. Amauri, you know Amauri, Amauri this striker. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, we sometimes go out. You know, maybe after a game you can go to have a drink or something like this. Yeah. So there was also friendly, you know, a relationship. But you know, talking of the dressing room, when you're in the dressing room, it's just about Fiorentina, because you know the fans are crazy in Fiorentina. You know, it's yeah. Uh, I I I knew him for just a month because mm -hmm. I made preseason. Mm -hmm. we, you know, they always say that when somebody's no more, then everybody talk good about this mm -hmm. the person. You know, but this guy was was a leader. You know, he was really a good guy. It's really sad what's happened, uh, but you know that's life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, some journalists also from Fior Fiorentina mm -hmm. called me. You know, and in an interview, and uh, they were saying, uh, "Did you choose Anyang because of of the colors?" <laughs> and I said, "Actually, um, I didn't know Anyang had violet. You know, until." I decided to come, you know, you know, when you decide to come, then okay, then you, you go do some sessions. Then I saw and I said, okay, this may be destiny, you know, <laughs> started from viola and now I'm viola, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the colors are the same and purple is beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I played, I think, six games from the beginning, you know. And you know, my first game was against Roma. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I was, uh, I was there for two weeks, you know. Uh, you know, training and everything was okay. The coach really liked me. And um, in this game against Roma, I was supposed to be on the bench, you know, uh, as the first game. But uh, one, the winger, the left winger, uh, he had fever. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they waited for last minute when we went to the dressing room for warm up. And the coach just came and he told me, Apple, listen, you are playing now because the other guy can't play. And I said, okay, why not? I was so happy, you know, because, you know, first game for Crotone, Serie A, you know, from the beginning. And uh, I played really good in this game and uh, I won the best play of the game. And, you know, Roma this time, they had like, they had Salah, yeah. they had Dzeko, they yeah. had uh, Nainggolan. Mm -hmm. The team was really good, you know, mm -hmm. Manolas. And yeah, it was a really good game. We lost, we lost, but we played really well. And, you know, after this game, I played other five, six games, you know, from the beginning, because mm -hmm. uh, I played very good, you know, this, this, yeah. So that was the team that I played so much uh, in Serie A, yeah. Huh. I think Salah. Salah? Yeah, I think Salah. He's so fast and he's so difficult to stay, you know. I play on the right and I play on the left. Mm -hmm. So I had to, you know, I had to attack and then follow him back, you know. Oh. When they are attacking, yeah, it was, yeah, it was difficult. But because he's fast, and uh, you never know what you do, you know. Because sometimes you go left, sometimes you go right, sometimes mm -hmm. he just, I mean, as a as a as a winger, I just only think of you know attacking, attacking, attacking. But when you have players like Salah. You also have to think of helping your defender because if you leave Salah one against one with your left back, he'll kill him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you have to. That's why I'm saying it was difficult, you know, because sometimes when you play with some, okay, normal guys, okay, I can just leave my left back one against one, no problem. I know there's no problem. But with Salah one against one, bro, no chance. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even two against one is difficult. Yeah, lose your mic on. Cambias Milito. Yeah, I remember this game. Bonic. Dibal. Chesney. He made one save on me. And then we chose. Uh, it was um, the last game of the season. Uh -huh. No, not the last game. The last game for Juve because if they won against us, then they were champions, you know. And we're playing at Torino. And. Uh, there was Dani Alves playing on the 
on the right side, you know, and I was on the left. And, you know, I was so much impressed about the way he was speaking to me, you know. We are not teammates, you know, but if you make something good, then we, he'll be, like, appreciating what you did. He'll say, hey, that was a nice play, you know. If you dribble him, you say, very good, like, this is not normal, you know what I mean? Uh, because you know, <laughs> during the game, you know, it's a very good, important game for them. Uh -huh. They have to win. Uh -huh. And he was, like, telling me my mistakes, uh -huh. praising me for the good stuff I do. Uh -huh. he said, he's a champion, maybe that's why. I just think of kicking or something like this, but this guy was praising me for dribbling him or something like this. Like Muntari, uh -huh. I know him very well because um, his kid brother, I used to, like, we used to go out, you know. We live very close, uh -huh. yeah, like one minute walk. Yeah, so I usually I, I go to their house to play PlayStation with the brother, uh -huh. and he was always there. He's he's very quiet guy, you know. Maybe you see him playing, he's a little bit crazy, uh -huh. he kick, but he's, he's really, you know, to talk to Muntari, you have to force him to speak. Because, yeah, he never really? speaks. Yeah, yeah, he's a really quiet guy. Uh -huh. But, you know, on the pitch, he's different guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Some other guys, I know OECM. I know uh, Boateng, but for a very short time. Um, who else? Asamoyan. I know him also. Because, you know, when we go to Ghana, we go maybe to for a coffee or drink and it's they're always together you know so maybe i don't know them so much well because i don't stay a lot they are not my friends friends but of course when we go out and like we say hi to each other yeah the Davis. 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 Yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, Davis. yeah yeah jason yeah yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah we played uh, one year together mm -hmm. in uh, rieka mm -hmm. yeah yeah i know him very well you know i spoke to him a lot i don't know how many times i i called him you know before i come you know because he was here already a mm -hmm. year mm -hmm. And so, you know, when there was the offer of Anyan, uh, I don't know how many times I called him. <laughs> ah, he gave me only positive. Everything was positive. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything was positive. You know, about the food, about the people, especially, how respectful the people are. Um, he didn't know nothing about Anyan, like, f from the club, because he didn't, he, he, he you know, he played Nusan, which yes. I think mm -hmm. is far from here. Yeah. But he had one friend, who is playing with him? Ah, that's Gabi. from that's yeah. from that's from Anyang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was a long player for six months. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. So he told me, listen, about the club, I don't know nothing. I will ask my friend right. because he played there, and then I'll 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 get back to you. And he gave me positive answers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he okay. He also helped me making my decision. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, um, I went to cut my hair in uh, uh -huh. Itaewon, uh -huh. and then the barber. The barber told me, hey, you are the Ghanaian guy who played for Anyang? And I said, yes. And he said, ah, because uh, Sam told me that uh, one Ghana guy is here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, probably he'll bring him to come and cut. I, I, I don't know him. I don't know him mm -hmm. personally. I've never met him before. But uh, I think through this guy, I'll meet him and probably maybe he'll come and watch some games. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he loves football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's a really famous guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, 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 actually in Italy also probably once or twice because maybe you are playing too good and then the fans need to distract you, you know, so I, I don't care about this, I know, I know what I want, I know what, what I'm doing, I'm, I'm the second child, we are three, mm -hmm. but I'm taking care of my family, you know, mm -hmm. so I, I can't just expose myself to crazy stuff and then I lose my mind for, for what for one stupid guy understands no 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 chance no chance so mm -hmm. there are things that I've, I don't care they never bothered me and they will never bother me yeah, at Verona mm -hmm. Verona is crazy Verona you know in Italy they are famous for, for this you know people who are very racist in Verona you know mm -hmm. and my first time that I I had racist experience was uh, actually in Verona mm -hmm. and I was just a kid I was 17 years you know mm -hmm. You know, uh, it was warm up, you know. As soon as I came out from the stadium, everybody was on their feet, like doing woo, woo, woo. I said, what the fuck? Like, it was crazy. That was so many years ago. But to Balotelli now, it was last year, you know. And so last year, they are still being racist. It's, it's, it's crazy. Nothing yet? Yeah. No, nothing yet. Mm -hmm. I, for now, I'm, I'm, I've been watching 
uh, there's this program on the on the TV. It's called Sony Time, mm -hmm. on the sports where they show a lot of goals of Son. Ah, yeah, just <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> that's that's my yeah. That's that's, <laughs> that's my channel here. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. what I watch a lot, you know, because. Uh, ah, yes, 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 yes. And there's this game which I didn't even know. Ah, I didn't ah. know it was Korean game, yeah. you know. PUBG, I was play, I, I play yeah, a lot. Ah, in Europe they are crazy about this, you yeah, know. know. In Italy, in Croatia, I was. I come here and he saw me one day looking at some video and said, "Hey, you know this game?" And I said, "Yes, of course." And he told me it's a Korean game, and you know we play all the time. You know, it's I play this game a lot. I don't watch a lot much TV mm -hmm. because I prefer to play this game. Mm -hmm. yeah, good yeah. he's better than me. Yeah. I'm good, I'm okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, move on, move on. Move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not playing that much, right? No, now I can't play so much because my wife is here, you know. She break my balls when I play too much. My wife was a potential.